The time has come for repentance and the time has come for us to preach the gospel. Don't be asleep. Arise and awaken. Don't be lazy. Be full of life. Will you accept it? Or will you reject it? Or will you smile? Each problem that we have the solution is always get help in the wrong way. If you want to silence your enemies, give up and watch what the Lord will do. Welcome back to Revelation Time. I just want to give God thanks and praise. You are listening to Romy Radio, Positively Power Pack. You are listening on Facebook, YouTube, and you are listening globally. Amen. I just want to give God thanks and praise for all our listeners. I just want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit is Lord and without the Holy Spirit, um, nothing is possible. So this morning we're going to be speaking on the, the topic fear and uh, rejection because uh, we have seen um, since 2020, you know, the coronavirus a lot of people um, have been struggling with fear, you know. There is also people that are refused um, to come out of their homes um, because they fear that they're going to die. And, um, you know, even this fear we have seen where people in authority, leaders, whether it be church or the political um, leaders, um, they are speaking each day. Fear, death, you know, um, people even make decisions um, that's going to be damaging to their body in the end um, because of fear. And um, each of us need to understand people that what is needed now in the time as this, you know, within the corona virus or with any other disaster that will come on the globe because they are going to be at a disaster when you think the corona is bad. You know, it's going to be worse. Amen. But, you know, God wants each and every one to understand that Jesus is the answer. And we have to declare the word each day, which is faith, but not declare death upon the people. You know, what will happen and how much people will die. So the first thing we have to do is that each and every one of us have to to begin to create a new environment. Amen. We have to speak to the environment of doom and war um, by political leaders and um, fear upon the people um, to do things that is not, you know, um, right or proper. And we, so we have to change the environment with the word of God and with the blood of God. Amen. So, so when we talk about fear, there are a lot of people, um, you know, very fearful. There are people who fear um, to be broke and who wouldn't want to be feared to be broke, um, to bankrupt, amen? Um, some fear um, that when they get broke, they're not going to be any access um, to certain places, you know, that they usually go because in society... As soon as um, things not going well for you, what happens is that you know you're no longer welcome in the clubs and welcome in different places because once you know people realize that you are broke, then instantly you will know whether or not they are your friends. So sometimes God allow things to happen, you know, to open your eyes and reveal. You know, who truly is your friend. <laughs> Amen. You know, so there are many that are fear to be broke. And that's why that, you know, many who get into bankruptcy are broke. They normally, you know, want to commit suicide because they can't deal with the situation. Um, there are other people fearful to fly. Uh, most people don't want to take the aircraft because they are very fearful. Some fear to lose friends that you are no longer um invited or welcome it in the circle and um there are friends in your life that over the years all they are doing is manipulating you and it is time for them to go amen 
No, you know, we fear, um, you know, the lot of stuff, amen? Uh, but, you know, the Bible speaks in Second Timothy, um, that 11, verse 7, that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And you have to believe the word and you have to declare the word that God don't give us the spirit of fear, but a love, sound, and a power. Amen? He don't give us the spirit of fear. So guess what? You don't have to fearful that if you come out of your house and, you know, you begin to sneeze or cough, instantly the enemy begin to whisper into your spirit that something gone wrong. Amen? So we have to overcome fear. Um, fear um, to start a new business. Amen? Um, you know, some people get so fearful that the very gospel of Jesus Christ no longer preach with truth and boldness. You know, people begin to preach a watered down message, a message that will tolerate the unclean things and the unholy things. Why? Because they are fearful that if they begin to speak the truth, uh, most of the congregation will left and the finance will dwindle down. Every leader must understand that Jesus is our source. And the moment you begin to look on the people as the source um, to take you out of the problem or the source to deal with the bills, then you are in problem. Amen. And we remember what happened when David began to look on the strength of his army. With all the victory that God has given him over the period of time, he began to look to man by calling a census, you know, to give him victory. And because of that, a virus break out, God began to punish him. Um, so we have to look to God uh, because the church belongs to God. And it is his power and his presence, the Holy Spirit, that tend to manifest. So if people walk away, amen, God will replace them. One go four come, one go five come. Amen. He said he will double them. The law of restitution and restoration. Um, so God is restoring people. And that is why he's calling pastors to teach and to speak the truth in this season. Amen. Amen. Some fearful, um, you know, of plans they have that their plans will not come true. Amen. And um, they are very fearful that they're going to fail. So because of that, most time, they are fearful of trying. Amen. Amen. Uh, fear to speak. Uh, people fear to die that they refuse him to sleep. Amen. Um, you know, fear to advance because each time to advance the different questions are going to come. How will you achieve it? Where will you get money from? Where will you get help from? So God wants us to rise up and begin to advance in this season, begin to um, possess the land because we have seen the children of Israel, you know, we see the um, the problem that fear caused, the moment they begin to fear the giant, their vision begin to, you know, change. Um, fear begin to blind them. It's opened the door for complaint and rebellion and criticism. And because of that, God, um, you know, remove all ten leaders and only two, Joshua and Caleb, who have a different mind, who believe that regardless of the problem, you know, we can make it. Amen. We can overcome. We, regardless of the problem, once we have God, the Holy Spirit with us, He will give us strength. Um, so we have seen what fear caused. Amen. And God always wants His people to walk. Amen. In faith in this season. Some um, become very fearful of the spirit of Jezebel. And we have seen the spirit of Jezebel are taking over nations. Amen. Most leaders um, recently the Lord asked me that most of the men, this gender business um, that they are utilizing where 
the male leader who's supposed to be a father, who's supposed to be a king, who's supposed to be a prophet, amen, to the nation that's supposed to stand up with righteousness and holiness. Most allow themselves to be deceived and to be seduced by the spirit of Jezebel that they begin to make decisions that are coming against God. We have seen um, how the bride of Christ has treated um, during the pandemic where churches have been closed down while the enemy, prostitution, abortion, gambling within nations and business that are spreading viruses are open. But God, business, close. And most of the people, um, you know, that, that, that is in authority globally, they are taking advice um, from what we call a Jezebel. Because only Jezebel within nations always want to destroy the coming together of God people. Because the enemy know that when God people unite and when they come together, the Bible said, forsake not the assembling of the brethren. So when the brethren come together and pray, things begin to happen. Amen? So the enemy, Jezebel, um, have utilized her power, use her power, to seduce leaders to make decisions against the bride of Christ. And, you know, God's going to punish many nations and many leaders because they have touched the apple of his eyes. Amen. We need the church in this time that they can continue to do the pro prophetic functions, to feed the poor and to restore within community. There are many elders within community that are dying uh, because no one reach out to them. And, um, you know, because they are very fearful. And only the word of God that will destroy their fear. They need a word of comfort to say, it is well. You will not die, but live to declare. Um, so the Lord is not pleased because nation leaders allow Jezebel um, to influence them to do evil against God's bride. And we have to um, pray that the spirit of Elijah, Elisha, and the spirit of Jehu will rise up to demolish that spirit of Jezebel who have seduced the nations and destroyed people. Amen? And that fear of the broke. Amen? That God people begin to rise. Amen? Jezebel is the one who have killed the prophet. And the other prophet globally that God have been speaking to, and this is the time, this is the season, this is the hour um, for prophet to begin to open their mouth and speak, thus said the Lord, because, you know, they, they are watchmen. And the Bible says, watchman, what of the night? Um, there are many things is happening globally and more things are about to happen. You know, even, you know, within the Caribbean, um, we have seen disaster begin. We have been prophesying for years that the Caribbean need to repent. And look what is happening. And the Lord shows that they're going to have some terrible, terrible disaster. Hurricane, tidal wave, spiritual and natural. Um, turmoil going to take place and famine within the Caribbean. Because they have get into covenant. Um, covenant that is going to come against God's people. Covenant that will bring sinful activity upon our shore for money. So we have to speak. Otherwise, um, we don't going to, you know, many in the Caribbean will not have any place to live. Amen. So fear is the number one thing um, that is impacting the people. Amen. We have to rise up and begin to speak again. The word of God. Amen. The next thing that is impacting God people is the spirit of rejection. And what happened is that rejection and fear work together and in on. Amen. And, um, you know, most people that, you know, 
um, you know, under the spirit of rejection, they always speak negative word. Amen. Each time about themselves, their family, work, relationship, or church. We have to change that negative into positive. Um, rejection is a spirit. It is not of God. And this is not the time for you to look down on yourself. You have to believe, people, that you are more than a conqueror through Christ. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So begin to hold up your head and stop looking down. Amen? Who tell you that you are a grasshopper? <laughs> and it's a giant. Amen? Amen? You are the giant. Amen? Don't see yourself as a grasshopper. Amen? Because when you begin to look on yourself like that, Amen? You, the enemy is going to advance and you're going to lose out on your blessing that God gives you. So rejection has to go. Um, this is not about trying to fit in, you know, to please people into something. Um, God wants each of you to be yourself. Amen? Be yourself is the key. Amen? There are greatness in you people. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Um, so we have to be careful. Amen. Or we see ourselves. Amen. We have to see ourselves as God sees us. Right? Um, your body language um, will bring negative impact. Uh, most may personally, most of the time, not even a smile that they would give. Because of rejection, they believe, well, I am too fat. I don't look good. Nobody want me. Who said that? Amen? There is always someone, you know, looking on. And God wants you to walk in confidence and believe that you're, you're beautiful, you're royalty, a holy nation. And see yourself as how God see you. You're not poor and you're an overcomer. Amen? Um, so it is time to reject rejection. Um, you know, so God will only reject you when you reject him. Amen? Or you rebel against him. Amen? So it is time for you to rise up. And it's just time for you to walk, right? You know, into your prosperity. Amen? Hallelujah. We give God thanks. We give God praise. Uh, we must allow the Lord to heal us. Um, even Bible says, so when Father and Mother leave us, the Lord will hold us up. Amen? Um, you know, so begin to rise and begin to believe. Amen? That you have such a time as this. Um, reject, rejection, right? Amen? Re amen. Reject it. Amen. Reject rejection. Believe that you are next in line for your blessing. Hallelujah. A lot of people, especially within the black um, um, race, um, a lot of rejection, are most still holding on to the painful situation of the past. And you begin to see yourself um, worse than, and that is why most time, you know, those who suffer from rejection make wrong choices that would come back and hinder you. Amen? So begin to make right choices. Amen? It is time to break that stuff. Now, um, a lot of people in the Bible, David, Jesus, Joseph, all of them go through rejection by the mass. But they didn't allow rejection to keep them down from fulfilling their purpose. Amen. The very Pharisees and Sadducees and even Jesus' family reject him. Amen. But they focus, David, Joseph, everyone, on the tasks that they are given and, uh, you know, create um, great things within the earth. Um, you know, um, they are deliverer, 
And the Lord said, you also, because you have suffered from fear and rejection. It's a deliverer. Because there are many things that you have been through that when you open your mouth and begin to testify, you know, people will get deliverance. So guess what? Um, stop look down on yourself because you're royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. Amen. Begin to give God thanks and praise. Amen. It is time for you to walk away from that common law relationship that you are into. Um, every year, that person, you know, keep promising to marry you, but they refuse and you bite because you feel no one wants you. Reject that. Amen. Reject it. It's time for you to walk. Amen. Shut up, 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 shut up. A lot of people even bleach. When you see people bleach their skin, they believe that they are not brown enough, they don't look good enough. Especially those within the inner city, the project. And it is time for you to rise up. Amen. Um, some people put on a lot of body spears on them, tattoo on them, because they feel that like they are not good enough. Amen. And um, you, you know, you don't need bleach. God made you perfect and special. And when that person comes for you, that person will accept you um, the way it's supposed to be. Right? Um, so you are blessed and you have to believe it. Right? You are anointed. You are appointed. You are going to be the next millionaire. You are in line. It is time for you to rise up and overcome fear and rejection and begin to walk in the promised land that God has for you. Amen? Begin to walk. Don't allow the past to be a hindrance to your presence. Hallelujah. God wants you to rise up in this season. Amen? And show the things that you have been through. You know when, when you are in the field, in the desert, the things rubber shatter that come against you know you destroy it just like david amen so because all of what you have been through in the desert this is the time and the season says the lord for you to walk in your miracle this is a time god desire to show you his glory and to use you as you have used moses in the past and many other in the Bible. It is time for us to walk in our purpose and fulfill the calling of God. It is time for us to rise and shine and let the glory of God come. Amen? There are people awaiting you. Amen? There are people crying, Lord, send someone. Amen? And we are allowing fear to hinder the things of God. So I just want to give God thanks and praise this morning. It's time for you to overcome fear and rejection. Remember, you are listening to Romy Radio, Positively Power Pack, and you are listening to us on Facebook, YouTube, and Romy Radio, and different places over the world. Remember, you can call us a prayer, 954 Two three seven five zero five eight nine five four two three seven five zero five eight. Our team is ready. Amen. They are ready and willing to pray for you, to prophesy over you, and uh, you know to help you um, to rise. Remember also, you can make your donation by visiting our website rwominc.com rwominc.com and you can make a donation you will see the different countries that, that we are um, you will see the, the mighty work that we are doing feeding the, the poor clothing people um, education and you can be a partner and as you be a partner we will pray for you um, our team will call you and we prophesy over you. Amen. So guess what? Rise up now. Amen. 
This is time, this is the season, this is the hour. Amen. No more waste of time. It is time for fear. And Father, we thank you. And we declare and declare that the spirit of fear is broken. Even now, rejection is no more. Shola ba 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 and we thank you, Lord, for victory. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance. We thank you, Lord, for change. We thank you that the spirit is broken. Hear them of this morning. And this is the best day of their life. God bless you all from Revelation time. God bless you.